What's the mood been like these past couple of weeks? It's been good. Yeah, it's been good. It seems like everyone's excited to be back playing hockey again. So, um, yeah, mood's been good. Do you get the sense people are excited to play under Rothman? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think he brings a great, uh, great energy to the rink, great... Uh, a lot of positivity from him. I think he's super excited. I think that makes the guys excited. I think just talking to him, um, his plans and and uh, you know his mindset. I think it's uh, it's really good, and I think all the guys have responded well to it. What are your other first impressions of Ralph? A lot of the guys have talked about how personal he is. Yeah. Personal he is how he, he thinks about you more as a more than a hockey player. What are your yeah? No, I mean yeah, that was pretty spot on. Um, yeah, I mean I've had a. <clears throat> I've had a, a really good first impression of him, and I uh, haven't heard anything but but great things about him. Um, you know, our conversations have been have been great. I mean, a lot of them have been about hockey, but um, you know, we've really gotten to know each other. I think, and um, like you said, he's very personable. Uh, he wants to know you as a human being. He wants to uh, you know know about your family, your uh, your likes and, and dislikes away from the rink, and um, you know, I think he cares a lot about everyone and. Uh, you know, beyond that, he's just, he's very organized. I think he, uh, he knows what he wants and, um, you know, he's very thorough and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's been, uh, he's been very impressive so far. So, um, it's been, uh, it's been great getting to know him. Now that you've had time to reflect, what have you learned about yourself as a leader after one year? Yeah. These yeah. I mean, a lot, I think, you know, first year, um, you know, as a captain, I think you can learn a lot. I think, you know, we had a really good first half of the year, tough second half of the year. I think you can learn learn a lot from, uh, you know, what we did well. And, you know, the same from what we did bad. I think you can take a lot from the, you know, from the struggles and the adversity we went through. I think it'll make us better as a team this year. You know, for me personally, I think, I, I, you know, I just try and be myself every day, come with a good attitude, work hard. Um, you know, it's it's pretty easy stuff. There's a lot of uh, a lot of leaders in there, a lot of really good guys. It's a good, uh, good group. And, um you know, just try and get to know everyone. Uh, if if, uh, if you know if you're a new guy, if uh, this is your first year with the organization, um, but yeah, I mean, just just work hard, lead by example. Yeah, it was great. I mean, you had a guy like uh, guy like Marcus. Um, obviously, you know he had a heck of a playoff. He's a you know veteran in the league. He's played a lot. Um, you know, you can say the same for. Uh, you know, for Colin Miller, um, you know, somebody who's been to the cup finals, he's been on a couple, uh, couple of good runs with Vegas, obviously. And, um, he's got some good experience. I think, uh, you know, he skates well, he moves the puck, you know, he can shoot. I think he can add a lot to our back end. And, um, you know, I think Vise will be a good addition as well. I think, you know, his ability to find the back of the net, um, you know, I think he's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder this year, and I think it's good for him. I think he's going to uh, he's going to you know fit in really well. He's a really good kid. I worked out with him all summer, so I think he uh, he had a really good summer of training. I think he's he's prepared to have a really good year. What's the next step for you? Last season was your was your best season. Yeah. Where do you think your next step is? At? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you just try and take steps every year, try and get better, and try and improve on stuff. Um, you know, for me, I. I you know, for me, I've, I've always wanted to score more goals, you know, find the back of the net more. Um, you know, it improved from year three to four, but I think uh, there's another step to take in, in terms of, uh, you know, becoming an elite goal scorer. And, um, you know, I think a little bit of it's a mindset. I think uh, at times I pass up good opportunities and, um, you know, the goalies are good, right? And, um, you know, it's tough to score goals in this league, but um, I think, you uh, you know, I think if I, uh, you know, I worked at it this summer, and, and I think a lot of it, like I said, is a mindset, right? Wanting to shoot the puck more. I, I shoot the puck a lot, but I think it's just opportunities when you're when you're around the net to get the puck on net, and, um, you know, I think it'll help our team. Jack, do you get the sense that there's more competition at defense and forward and that some of your peers that you've been around for years maybe don't know if they actually have a spot on this team right now? Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's a good thing. I think it'll make for a competitive camp, you know, competitive preseason. I think everyone's everyone's fighting for for spots, and um, you know, it's. Uh, it, I think it's a it's a really good thing. We have a lot of D, a lot of forwards, a lot of guys here, a lot of really really good players too. And you, know, you saw it in uh, in Roch last year. They had a good year, a really good team with uh, you know a lot of 
young and upcoming players that I think will will push push guys for positions, and um, I think that's good. Whenever you have competition, I think uh, you know it helps everyone prepare better for the season. Jack, to, Jack, to piggyback off that, how do you compare the makeup of this team, the depth of this team um, today as you arrive here, as opposed to looking back, you know, when you first got here? the organization? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean. We're younger. I think my first year we had an older team, right? A lot, lot more established guys on the group. I think there's a lot of younger, uh, eager, eager players to, you know, try and, you know, either break into the league or, or, uh, you know, take that next step. And I think that's great. Um, you know, it's only going to make all of us better. Do you think younger's better? I'm sorry. Heather. Do you think younger's better in some ways, given the history and, and, and to, to remove people who have the knowledge of what's gone wrong here? Um, well, I mean, I think, well, I think that like you, you look at younger, right? I mean, you could call Sam a young guy. He's been here. This is his fifth year. Uh, you know, you know, Risto, he's not, uh, he's not really old. I mean, in terms of playing in the NHL, he's, he's been playing for a while, right? But he's not an older guy, you know, same with Jake. I mean, you know, these are, these are younger, younger players in terms of age, right? But a lot of experience and, and yeah, we've been through a lot of tough times together and uh, in the organization with, you know, tough years and, you know, it's, it's been up and down, but, you know, I think you can use that experience to better you. Um, but I think with the, the guys that have come in, uh, whether it's been last year to this year or, or this year, um, you know, you got a lot of guys really eager, like I said, to, uh, to try and break in and, 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 and make an impression. And, um, you know, I think that's going to be really good. You see guys, you know, go home, have a really good summer of training, prepare, you know, as well as they can to come back and, and put their best foot forward. Um, and that's really good. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's important for us to get better every day. And, um, you know, that includes the summer, the off season, um, you know, prepare your best for the season. Jack, so many of, you know, so many people have an opinion this will be a successful season. Sabres if, and then they fill in the blank yep. as the captain of the team. What would make this a successful season in your estimation? Well, I mean, I think every year, every team comes in with the same goal. Um, you know, if you're not shooting for the highest goal possible, you know, I think you're downplaying yourself. So I think every year you come in and you tell yourself, all right, well, we're going to try and win the Stanley Cup, right? I mean, that's every team. If you're not playing for that, then uh, that's, I mean, that's, that's the goal every season. Um, you know, I'm sure last year at the beginning of the year, a lot of teams probably wouldn't have said Carolina would have been in the Eastern Conference Finals, right? They put it together. They had a really good year, and, and they were there. Um, so I think that's the goal of every team. I think, you know, short term uh, for us right now, it's, you know, it, it's good to get off to a good start in camp. I think we did that last year, and it showed in the beginning of the season. So I think that's our, that's our, our first priority. Uh, have a good camp, get to know each other, uh, work hard, you know, and, and, and come out of the gates well. Jack, kind of going off of that, you guys saw some success, especially with that, that winning streak there. What do you guys as a team need to do to take that next step and put together a complete season when you're having yeah. that success and not, you know, have that collapse in the second half? Yeah, well, I, I mean, you know, you look at our first half of the year, uh, you know, whether it was, you know, a win or a loss, I thought we responded well the next night. Um, you have that win streak, I think. You know, a lot of those games were close. I thought we played confidently, uh, no matter what the situation was, whether we were down, up, or I think a little bit in the second half. Uh, you know, we got a little bit fragile, obviously. We, you know, we struggled at times. It was tough to, to string wins together. And um, I think for us, it's just all about, uh, you know, focus on the next day. I mean, it's a long year. It's 82 games. It's, it's every day until, uh, you know, regular season's every day till, till April for the most part. So, um, you know, for us, it's, it's, it's important to, you know, if, if we don't play well, if, if, if things don't go well, you know, just to move on and try and prepare for that next game, prepare for the next day, you know, not, not get too high, too low. Um, I think that's important for us. I think last year at times, you know, maybe we got down on ourselves a bit and um, I think it, it, it carried over. Uh, for us, it's, you know, it happens fast. I mean, you know, you're playing multiple games in a week. It's, it's important to you know, figure out what you did wrong, if you did something wrong, and, and try and respond the best way you can. How do you guys plan to fix here? your play in the defensive zone for the season? Uh, well, I mean, I think just, just be harder to play against, obviously. Um, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure Ralph has a, has a system to be 
put in place for us, and um, we'll, we'll probably start learning that over the next week. But, you know, just be harder to play against, take more pride in it. Um, I thought our goalies did a really good job last year, and, uh, you know, we got to be better for them. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah, all right. Thanks. We'll see you this week. Take care.